okay so let's start working on delete so in home page here we have this delete button so let's add a function handle delete it will be an async so how to access a particular row to delete like this one and here if I console log this our data you can see there are only the fields we have added date email message name there is no ID or anything unique so um, sheet dot best provides us another endpoint which contains row index so it will be zeroth index first second so we need to change this uh, get data endpoint let's go to their docs and under this advanced usage click on this retrieving different data formats on get request So this is the one we need. It provides the row index. So let's copy this. And in our add data, add here. And now let's check. Yeah, it's right. It should break. So let me just comment it out and here you can see now uh, the response we are getting back is no more an array zeroth row first row second row so now we have access to the row index uh, but we need to convert, convert the response into array so here when we are setting the data we will convert it object dot keys and we will provide data map over this data grab the key and then we will return data of particular key and if we log the data now you will see now it's an array of object and our map functionality should work now so let's uncomment this and it's working again okay so here handle delete we will need to provide the row index so let's just grab this endpoint and remove this format index here we will add this row index method will be delete
and we will call this on this button on click handle delete and we will provide the row index which we are getting in this map the first one is the item we are getting back and the second one is the index and since uh, sheet.best uh, also use zero based indexing so it will be the same so here we will provide i okay so let's delete this second one test one so the index should be 0 1 so if I click on this delete and go to sheet you can see the test one is gone uh, and the last one moved upward now its index is firm and if we refresh now we have two arrays so let's update the UI also let's remove this log and here after if the response is ok then we will need to update the UI const updated data equals to and we will filter on this data state which is an array or we have converted into an array data dot filter item actually we don't need item we only need the index so let's put an underscore here and then index and here we will check this index is not equals to the row index if that is the case if it is equal to the row index then it will be deleted otherwise uh, it will be shown in the UI and now we will uh, update the state set data updated data let's add another one and then we will delete it Oh, it's here and let's delete this one and see if the UI updates or not okay so UI also updates now and the data is also gone from our Google sheet so in the next video we will work on uh, update